We recently watched the Iron Giant Jambo and it got us thinking about those rare films that might have been made with kids in mind but end up speaking to all of us no matter our age. You know the ones where you sit down expecting a fun light-hearted watch and by the end you're completely floored. So today we're diving into something close to our hearts, the greatest thing you've ever watched that was meant for kids. Whether it's a hidden message that hits home or a story that stays with you long after the credits roll. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. We're not going to spend too long. What kids film pickled your parsnips? Horrid Henry. Really? No. <laughs> wow. That was out of left field. <laughs> Go on. Um, well, uh, listen, this this one's going to be incredibly basic, uh, and, I, and I do apologise for that, but I will try to make a good justification for it. It would be Shrek. Mm, I went yeah. through a list of kids' films, and, and, and what really surprised me was there are a lot of films on that list that I really appreciate and like, and I mm. think are incredibly well-made films. And I just felt like Shrek was probably the one that I remembered the most and most blew me away. And the closest I could get to explaining why is... I think that they do the hard outer shell of Shrek so much better than any other film has ever done, like, or oh, that guy with the hard outer shell with a soft heart inside. Like, it's right. just so much more convincing in this. Mm -hmm. And so everything just kind of feels he's cooler for it. But then when he has his vulnerable moments, it's more emotional. Mm. And then it also sets up Donkey really well. Eddie Murphy is Eddie Murphy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Sets up Donkey really, really well. All of his dialogue is just, it's put perfectly. And it, it doesn't take itself too seriously, no. you know? And I just feel like it is a basic one to putt forwards. But I think the reason it's a basic one to putt forwards is because it is a freaking amazing movie. Yeah, no, I think Shrek came to mind very early on from me, for me. Um, the only reason I didn't plump for it was because I did watch it as a kid and I tried to be... Uh. I tried to pick something that I watched as an adult so I really appreciated... This 100% is not meant for me. It's, it is fully meant for kids. Okay. And yeah, I do really, really think that was that was incredible. Um, now, Shrek 100% has, I think, just how cool it is. Yeah. Obviously, there are, there are adult jokes in it. There are things yes. that, are, that are made for the adults watching. But I, I remember when we watched it, when we were very little, my grandpa and my parents were like, that was that was great. Yes, <laughs> like, yes. Let's watch the second one when Everybody it comes out. Everybody loves that film. Yeah, yeah, so I think that tip a hat to Shrek. Now, the one that I can personally speak to, not a film. Could I... Oh. Could well, you give go me, on, what was your guess going to be? Well, I, no, what I was going to... Because I couldn't guess, but I was going to start working towards it. Could you give me the year? Ooh, or give me I a little think, hint. Year. It was in the 2010s, like mid to late 2010s. And it's and not a film, so presumably, film. is it? Oh, a bit of a twenty question. And is you it, will know. You definitely know it. Oh, that's just made it tantalising. I know it's tough because I don't want to. I don't want to just. Okay, so is it a TV series? It is. Okay, and it came out. It was airing episodes in the twenty tens. One hundred percent. Oh, Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. Oh yes. Gravity Falls was phenomenal unbelievable we watched it together we we, we blasted out gravity yeah. falls together based on i think it was a watch mojo video where was it was it? like a best animated tv shows of the 2010s or something like that and i i i watched it it showed a couple of clips and i was like that's really funny yeah and that is really funny and i know it's a kid's thing but that's really really good it was unbelievable this was in a phase where i was showing you loads of anime Yep. And then I, I was like, should we try something a bit different? And we watched the first episode. And there were a couple of like genuine, high quality, like really, really good laughs. Yes. And something about very clean laughs, like getting you to have an, an emotional reaction when it's complete, when, when it, a kid could have that emotional reaction and an adult can, yes. is incredibly impressive. Yeah. That must be so hard to be able to do. Yeah. I can only imagine how difficult it is to write something that's so funny for kids and for adults. The craftsmanship of the comedy reminds me of Edgar Wright. Yeah, right. Well, well what about it? Would you say? There's, there's a lot of nuance and, there's a, and, and the word clean you mentioned felt really right. It just feels very... Everything clicks together really yeah. nicely and not just the comedy, although the comedy too, but in both cases, when it wants to be funny, it is funny. 
Mm. And when it doesn't want to be funny, it's not trying to be funny. And it just clicks nicely like that. And the story is amazing. And it is so well it like just feels like the perfect length they yes. did two seasons in there but it was a lot of episodes in both seasons I think it's about 40 episodes total yeah it's pretty not and it's just seasons. like just chef's kiss perfect in length yes. like it's just enough for you to really get invested in it's episodic so a lot of it there's an overarching story but it's quite light touch I want to watch it now Gravity Falls <laughs> oh and the the tune the, oh, the tune the, is amazing. Unbelievable. Just, if you're listening and you don't know, okay, maybe you won't go watch it. Fine. But yeah, okay. please just check out the theme tune to this because it is unbelievable. If you're on YouTube right now, just literally just put our video to one side and find it. It's so good. Gravity Falls. I mean, d- genuinely, I have... Uh, it came to me quite quickly when I thought... I, I think I kind of subconsciously had the idea in mind when I came up with this concept, but... Gravity Falls. Uh, there is very, there are very few things that have impressed me that much, and the main reason <laughs> for that is because I, I could see how clearly it is that it's made for kids. Yes, and I'm like so invested in yeah. in the enjoyment of it. Uh, this uh, just perfect, per- perfect length. Yeah. Story's incredible, packaged beautifully with even down to the music, the characters. Mm. Uh, you get to know each of them individually, all their personalities. Yeah, an overarching plot that you're kind of curious and mysterious. Genuinely, yeah. genuinely, incredibly funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say I would say it's a uh, bad take, but here we go. It's Rick and Morty meant for kids, but with the cleanliness of an Edgar Wright writing it's it's well enough put together so the you don't mean cleanliness as in like it's 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 clean like it's I just made mean for not kids. sloppy mean it, yeah i just yeah, mean, mean clean as in it's it's tight. everything's well and there's no mo okay rick and morty there are a lot of moments where i'm like you could have just got rid of that in the writing room a lot of the rick and morty stuff comes from it's just gone on a bit long now. yeah like yeah. whereas whereas gravity falls stopped at two yes i haven't checked back on this i'm hoping they haven't but when i last checked the guy who made it was like definitively I'm doing two and he Good like for him. has wow. he owns the rights or or he owns enough of it where he can say no one is ever making any more of this. What an artist. It's You've the got to appreciate with, uh, an artist. Yeah, sometimes, it's the same with yeah. the um, Robert Zemeckis with Back to the Future. He said no one is ever remaking Back to the Future and you're like fucking let's go. You got to respect. You got to respect the restraint cuz the money that they'll be offered for that is just probably silly. Especially after this. Yeah, well, yeah, once again, it's the main night endorsement. Oh, this endorsement. Well, you heard it here first. The greatest thing to be released in the last hundred years. Yeah, yeah. The uh, How did we describe it? The greatest thing you've ever watched that was made for kids. But it's for a kid. Is for it, me. But it's for children. Yeah, for me, for many reasons, is Gravity Falls, the TV show. And I, you know what? I would like to uh, adopt yours as well and chuck Shrek out of the way. Fuck Shrek. Fuck Shrek. We were kids. Yeah. <laughs> Made for yeah. us. All right. Well, listen, thank you so much for tuning in. We always really do appreciate it. Don't forget to let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Nice one. Cheers. <laughs>